Hi guys, happy new year. I hope your new year is off to a wonderful start. Um, I feel like a lot has happened since my last video. I've been sick, the whole house has been sick. I'm still kind of creeping out of that, trying to eat the gentle foods and do the right things. But yes, yeah, stomach flu, throwing up. It started with Biddy this past Friday. Me and Belle came down with it the following Saturday night, like in the night, and then Sunday night it was Tyler. And I just got word last night that my mom's got it too. So if you are experiencing that as well. I hope you feel better soon. For all of us so far, it seemed to be a pretty solid like 24 hour type thing before we started to come around. But thank you so much for all the tips on Twitter, all the good foods to eat. I've heard about the brat diet and the, you know, bananas, rice, what is it, applesauce, toast. But when I asked the other day, like, what are your tips? I was sort of hoping somebody would come out of the woodwork with an off the beaten path idea. You know what I mean? Like the kind of thing you get a four year old to eat because when you're dealing with a little one going through this too, to, like you just want to see them, you know, rebound. And you don't want to push the recovery or the reintroduction of food too fast, but waffles, Eggo waffles have been kind of an easy thing for people to get down and also Rice Krispies, very good. That was the thing Biddy had that like launched her into recovery. So thanks for your advice. But in this video, I want to share the things that I got for Christmas and birthday that are beauty related. I got some really cool non-beauty related things too, like this lovely little sweater I have on here. My sister, Pup, has started getting getting me kind of like a clothes grab bag. And I was thinking it might be fun to do like a try on type video of all that, make it a video in itself, or just, you know, gradually show you what I have as I wear the stuff in videos. But she just finds the cutest stuff. She knows what I like. And I think some of the outfits and stuff that you guys commented on the most in the past year, they were things that she got me. So that was really amazing. Also down under the tree right now, my friend Erica gave me a, um, like a pillowcase that has beauty related benefits to it. I'll have to talk about that in a future video. I should have gathered it up last night, but I really don't want to rummage around down there right now and wake anybody up. But it's just a really wonderful Christmas. Christmas is not all about gifts. That's not the point of the holiday, but I did receive gifts. And this is a beauty channel. It's kind of fun to talk about. I don't know, some of the things that I'm going to really be digging into and some things that I already have been playing with. First off, I'll begin with what my mom and dad gave me. They do ask me for some suggestions and they were very kind to deliver on those. Here's one, the Huda Beauty new nude palette. Um, wow. This has been so much fun to play with. It's more gorgeous in person than I even thought it was online. And it was kind of one of those wild card things for me. Obviously, if I was super into it, I may have picked it up right after it launched or something, but I just sort of held back and then decided, especially with my newfound appreciation for glitter, which we're now just outside the 31 days of glitter and look at me. Still wearing glitter. I'm a changed woman, people. I'm reaching for it even when I don't have to, but I am wearing this palette today. And this is my second time playing with it. It's got a lot of mattes in here. Like overall, if you're looking at this and the texture looks somewhat flat, you know, that's a matte shade. There's one kind of traditional pearlescent metallic type color. And then there's these four marbled shades, which are so interesting and kind of multi-dimensional. The light color that's mixed in with the overall tone in those makes it kind of transformative. And they're fully opaque. I mean, they're gorgeous shades in their own right, but I think when they start overlapping with some of those mattes, they do some really interesting things. So those have been fun to play with. And then there's two glitters. And I used one of those for the first time today. I used infatuated. They look really close, but infatuated seems to have more of a bronzy shift and excite goes a little more reddish, but also very important to note, which I didn't even know this going in, but there is a creamy base in here, a fully opaque kind of beige colored base called concealed. And so this is the type of thing that you can use kind of as your glitter base. That's what I did today. And I was so impressed at how well it grabbed the color. The first time I used this palette, I didn't even play with any of the glitters and I just thought, oh, that's really working well to help like these really shimmery shades cling. And the look was beautiful and so impactful. But today I applied Infatuated with a brush on top of that shade on my lid and I just thought, wow, it's clinging so full on. I had zero fallout on my face, which was amazing and a big surprise. I think my question is this, will it wear as well all throughout the day as glitter 
glue does. You know, prepping my lid with glitter glue, putting glitter on, I have found throughout my 31 days that that holds really well on me and stuff doesn't flake around. So we'll see if this holds on to this glittery shade, this basically pressed, it feels almost like a dry glitter pressed in there, kind of like the Too Faced palette. We'll see how well that lasts, but it applied in a very impressive way. But to back it up slightly, here's how I did the look. I just like put primer all over, just a general primer. I think I grabbed Shadow Insurance actually, and applied that all over the lid and up to the brow area. I prepped things in my crease with, let's see, I used some Secret. I used a little bit of Raw, and I kind of blended Tickle up above it, and I just got that nice matte base going. And then I used the cream base, and I just kind of tapped it on with my finger all over the lid. I first patted on Fantasy, which takes on kind of a pinky shift, as you might expect, and I put that on my innermost corner and then started dabbing on um, Infatuated with a very flat brush. Put that over most of the rest of the lid, switched out my brush, and used Raw um, just right there in the outermost corner. But the look is just so pretty. What do I have on the lower lash line? Maybe a little Love Bite, a little bit of Tease, this cooler color. But this palette is so much more interesting than I ever really thought, and I feel like you could get a very tame, very delicate type all matte look if you wanted to, and if you just wanted to incorporate one of these shimmers. While they look different, they're not at all unapproachable, but they're very highly shimmery. And I would take advantage of that base with these marbled looking colors, but the glitters, my goodness, like that's really pretty. And I don't know what to say, it's just a very playful, interesting palette with a lot of tones that I'm very interested in. Um, I really want to play with this shade some more, this light lilac here. I think there are a lot of colors in here to complement that and do a beautiful all matte eye that way. So yeah, really pleasantly surprised by this. Many more opportunities than I would have expected. And I think part of that is me appreciating the glitter texture more than I ever did before because I've taken 31 days to get in tune with it and probably just raise my own confidence level in using it and figure out some tips and tricks. And I tell you what, if you've got any area of makeup where you want to hone your skill a little bit better, just tell yourself you're gonna do it for a month or maybe even two weeks and every day work with whatever it is to really try to figure it out. And I think you really will teach yourself something. The more you understand about something, the more you can appreciate it. Heck, that goes for people too. You know, the better you get to know somebody, the more you appreciate them and what they're going through. Am I making this way too deep here? It's just about glitter people, but I, I like this palette. I'm enjoying it very much. I like the color tones and I like the texture variety. Here's another little palette that I ended up with. It's from Violet Voss and they've got some of these fun size palettes and I was interested in Berry Burst and getting it home I'm realizing wow that looks like modern renaissance a lot to me. Um, this was not necessarily a need in my collection. One of the shades did crack just a little bit just from the outer corner but I kind of smushed it all back together. But I do like the size. I do know I love these tones and it's kind of cool how they gave you a very clear separation here with your top row of basic kind of verging on warm neutrals and then your berries on the bottom one more reddish one more pinky metallics in here a nice light shimmer so I think it's going to be a super user-friendly palette and it did come in the other day when I was working with a different palette that didn't go so well and then this one totally saved me so I need to play with it more but I'm excited about it it just really reminds me of modern renaissance a lot at a glance okay guys how cute are these? These Pat McGrath Lipstick Minis. Absolutely darling. They came in a little pouch that was filled with sequins, and while, yes, I'm totally in tune with my glitterized self right now, a pouch full of loose sequins was a bit much for me. They are Pat McGrath's Matte Formula, which I only own one Pat McGrath lipstick, and it's a cream, and I've enjoyed it well enough. It's a nice shade, but I think maybe perhaps it's just harder for that formula to stand out to me because I have so many cream lipsticks I like. A matte lipstick formula is a little harder to nail, and I must say, I think I'm even more impressed by this matte formula than I am the creams. I'm wearing the deepest shade that I have here. It's called Flesh 3. Um, I have a gloss called Flesh 4, but isn't this gorgeous? Look how matte. The point is so precise, by the way. Even just on this mini, I was putting it on and I was like, whoa, like, be careful. <laughs> the point is sharp. And it went on so smoothly, so opaque. I mean, it feels like a matte lipstick, but not a dry matte. And when you press your lips together, 
I'm still feeling moisture between my lips. It's amazing. So enjoying this shade so far. I'm eager to see how well it stays within the lip line with continued wear throughout the day, but the application was divine and it does not make my lips look the least bit dry, but completely matte. So there's that shade again, that's Flesh 3. I'm pretty sure these are all part of the regular line. Um, I have one called 1995 and that seems to be kind of a um, dusty rose nude. Let's swatch it on the hand. Dusty rose deep pink might be kind of a good description of that and then the other color is called Omi and let's swatch that as well. That's very close to 1995, a little bit more like deep peach mixed into the pink in that shade at a glance, I would say. But this Flesh 3 that I have on, I mean, it was very what you see is what you get. There was no building up the color. It was literally just one careful pass over the lips because this is a little deeper shade and the point was so precise. I was like, I don't wanna screw this up, but I think it looks beautiful. But I'm still kind of tip of the iceberg with a lot of this stuff. I hope you realize that and you'll see more of it in future videos, I'm sure. Last thing I got from mom and dad is this um, warm and cozy set here from Philosophy. And I love getting anything Philosophy related for the holidays. A lot of times I try to get some kind of seasonal like shower gel. I just love their scents so much, but this is that and more. It's got the apple cider and peppermint stick shower gels, but you also get a micro delivery exfoliating wash, which is an amazing, very gritty, very um, concentrated gritty scrub. Renewed hope in a jar, which sounds interesting. Interesting. Amazing Grace, which is a beautiful scent, also in the shower gel and a lotion, and then the Purity face wash. And so obviously none of these sizes are massive, but you know, that's great for me. I like being able to try something. And I haven't even busted into this yet, but look what happens when you open the doors, like all the different little windows open up. Here's what I think. I think Philosophy knows that the holidays can be their total wheelhouse. You know, it's the time of year somebody might want to gift some sort of bath and body thing and they're like, okay, how can we do this better than everybody else who's selling bath and body related stuff? So I love that I received this and some of those things in here I'm really familiar with. Like I said, I know I like the shower gels. I know the micro delivery wash is amazing. The renewed hope in a jar will be new to me and gosh, I, I guess the firming body emulsion, that amazing grace lotion will be new as well. Every other kind of thing in here I've had some experience with and have really liked it. I mentioned in my last video that I got a couple of beauty type gadgets, like big time beauty gadgets from Bub. This stuff again is all Christmas and my birthday and um, I haven't even had a chance to use these things yet. You heard the story, we were traveling all over creation, came back, everybody got sick. I haven't had the time to just sit down and play with my new Derma Flash. Ah, I'm so pumped about this. It's the Derma Flash Lux 2.0 facial exfoliation and peach fuzz removal. Did we know we needed this in our lives? I'm not sure, but it does kind of sound like it's gonna change my world, you guys. Here's what the thing looks like. I mean, who owns one of these? Who can tell me your tips and tricks with these? It comes with a couple of things like a cleanser and a moisturizer, and I think it's got like different little cartridges that come in here too. But you guys, I am excited. 2019 is gonna be the year that I take some good care of my skin. And this is what they say about it. The skin you want is lying just beneath the skin you see. Dermaflash removes dead skin cells, built up debris and pesky peach fuzz and creates a flawless canvas for skincare and makeup. It sounds really intriguing, does it not? So I'm gonna use this. I'm going to report back, absolutely. I hope it's easy to use. I hope it's fun, but I am really excited about that. That. Thank you so much, Bub. Here's the other thing I got from Bub. It's a new face, a new face gold mini express skin toning collection. So it's got a gel primer. It's got the new face thing, a little carrying case. Can I just tell you guys, you turn 35 and you start wanting stuff like this. It says boast firmed tone and glowing skin in minutes a day with the power of microcurrent and firming hydrating essentials. They say, think of new face as fitness for your face. Exercise sculpts and tones your body body and microcurrent contours and tones your face microcurrent y'all they say five minute facial lift i'm gonna pull this out because i want to see just how like what the size is on this here's what it looks like isn't it cute it's kind of like a little rawr. what are you gonna do for me but yeah i find myself really wondering what's this stuff gonna do for me is it gonna be worth its price it's gonna be a fun little skincare journey to start the new year that's for sure oh did i tell you guys santa stopped by our house and guess what there were some things in my stocking some things that i personally really really like how did santa know that i wanted 
this third shade of the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones that I didn't have already. It's called Refined Rose, and I'm wearing it right now, and I think it's just beautiful. And I'm wearing the middle shade and then this like highlighter type shade that goes along with it. It's probably the least shiny highlight that I've seen with some of these, but yet look at the glow. I think Santa wanted to throw back to a time when I used to receive lip smackers in my stocking because check this out. Boom, a freaking vault of lip smackers. Yes, I will use these. I may share a few with my girls as well, but we got fluffy caramel clouds, strawberry sunset, sprinkle drops, kiwi drift. By the way, the kiwi smells just like the old school kiwi did. Okay, am I putting any minds at ease now? There's a honeydew, rainbow sherbet dreams, great smelling cherry in there, a vanilla one, apple and berry, but dang, is that taking anybody back to, let's say, 1996, 1997? Love it! Santa also lovingly put a makeup headband in my stocking. I think he actually found this one on sale at TJ Maxx, and it's from the Vintage Cosmetic Company, which which is my favorite brand for a makeup headband. That's gonna be showing up in some future videos. Oh, I forgot to show this. This was also in with Bub's gift, this glow cup. Reduce the appearance of wrinkles, light up your skin, contains two facial cupping accessories. I don't know guys, they're cute, they're glittery, and they're little cups. I, I haven't done my research yet, but trust me, I will. There's two sizes. And some of you guys might be like, gosh, this woman's doing makeup every day. Why is she wanting this stuff by choice as gifts? Well, that's a valid question. That's a valid concern, but um, I'm obsessed. You should know that by now. Now my friend David, who is a makeup artist in New York with Estee Lauder at Bergdorf Goodman, he is the one who prompted the whole 31 days of glitter joyous experience that I had in his 31 days. I mean, you have to go to his Instagram. I'll link it below. He has had a far more fantastic and fabulous 31 days than I have had. He has done some incredible stuff. I feel like my stuff is verged on like how can I make this glitter wearable and he has just done some all-out fun stuff. But every year he gives me an incredibly generous grab bag of items here and I just wanted to show you what he gave me this time around. And I feel as though his gifts come from such a customized place. Like if he's giving it to me he thinks this is something I could benefit from or use you know in his expert opinion. So how amazing is that to have somebody like that giving things to you. And so talking about wanting to take care of my skin better. I've got a couple things here that I think he gave me that I'll be able to really use. One is the Advanced Night Repair from Estee Lauder Synchronized Recovery Complex 2 and also the Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex. It's synchronized, it's supercharged. I'm a little intimidated but I don't know how many of you guys are really in tune with this skincare line but this seems big to me. That seems huge. Thank you David. It says for use on all skin types and apply on clean skin before your moisturizer. 29 19, you better watch out. I might just be turning into a teenager again. Here's another Estee Lauder skincare thing. Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Balm. Now I will say I've used and enjoyed a balm from IT Cosmetics. Okay, I'm not wanting to break the seal on this just yet, but I think you get the idea of what this is. I bet it's going to be sort of a solid feeling balm that melts down on your skin and hopefully rinses away all the makeup without over drying. So thank you, David. That's amazing. Bub got something in here. The Clinique for Men Maximum Hydrator. Activated Water Gel Concentrate. Ooh, look, that's cool looking. We've got to get Bub back on his skincare train because my friends, he is off of it. He has not been putting his SPF on. He has not been moisturizing before bedtime. Like that'll help get him back on track. A lovely fragrance here. I wonder if he gave this to me specifically because of my daughter's name, but this is Estee Lauder's Beautiful Bell. Oh, and it smells so good. What was he telling me? I don't know if he said this or somebody else said this but Estee Lauder's Beautiful is one of the top like requested bridal fragrances. This is even better than I remember that smelling. So nice, so amazingly generous. Thank you so much, David. And there's more. He gave me an all hours foundation from YSL. This is a foundation that I do own. I like the concealer too. It's very long wearing on me. It's very good coverage. They say it's up to 24 hour wear, flawless matte, oil free. If he's giving it to me, I'm sure he stands behind it and likes it too, but I can vouch for this. I do have it and I've really liked it. And lastly here, the Duet Concealer Brush from Kevin Aquan. I am so excited about this. This is the most wrapped up brush I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. It's like it's clear and then there's an internal kind of brush there. And one side is flat, but really nicely flexible. And then this other side totally is looking like a crease brush, but I can see how that might be really nice around the eyes. Oh my gosh. David, thank you so much. I value your recommendation. 
donations and the things you give me and your picks so very much. And you are so, so generous to send this stuff my way. So thank you. You will be seeing a lot more of it coming up in future videos. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining. And to me, I think it's kind of a matter of giving just a sneak peek into a lot of the things I'm going to want to be talking about and reviewing for you in the coming weeks. I hope you've had a safe and happy new year and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye!